Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and this is a one-off video. Now I recently did a video on the T34-3 where I said I don't understand why people hate on the tank because it's actually a good tank. And one of my subscribers, uh, a chap called Not Banana Joe, who is regularly in my live streams etc, sent me this clip. Now, I don't know if my video inspired him to play the T-34-3. I would like to think so, <laughs> but it probably didn't. He probably just decided to roll out in it. But boy, he is going to show you what this tank can do. Now, like I said in the video, it's not the easiest tank to get on with. And it forces you to play the tank, not defensively, but correctly. It makes you know, understand the positionings you need and it also makes you, kind of forces you to understand the terrain of the maps. If you know that, then this tank is quite literally a beast. It's a medium tank and, okay, it's a premium tank, not everybody's got it, but it is a medium tank with a massive derp gun. Okay, it takes a long time to reload the massive derp gun, but with a one second aim time, boy, you are, but you're not OP, you're not broken, but boy, you're effective. It does struggle with only five degrees of gun depression, which can be a pain in the backside, especially when the lower hull on this thing is pretty weak. The turret, however, isn't. I mean, the turret is rock solid, but you can't really go proper haul down. You can, but you can't sort of do like a British tank, go haul down and the unusual depression to poke over the top because five degrees just won't let you do it. So this is where the tank becomes tricky. Now you could sit here and say, oh, but not Banana Joe is just sat here camping. Well, yes and no. He is doing what you need to do in this tank. In fact, he's doing what majority of games should be. He is making the enemy make mistakes and he is punishing that enemy for making those mistakes. He's in a great position. The TDs on the right can't get him. And he can sit here quite happily and farm the mediums and heavies on the enemy team who are intent on pushing and this is what I'm saying about learning your role on the battlefield and why I think tanks like these tricky tanks are so vital in that learning curve because the T-34-3 does force you to learn those skills, to know your role, to know the battlefield, to know the maps and, and basically it forces you to have a bit of patience because if you try to frontline this thing then you're going to get penned left, right and centre on that hull. And I, I did another video a long time ago about knowing your role on the battlefield. And one of the things that always bemuses me is not just how people don't understand their role on the battlefield, but also they don't understand the parameters of their own tank. Now, this tank, whilst it's a medium, it hasn't got the parameters of, say, a German medium. You know, it hasn't got, it's got good speed, but it hasn't got the speed. And you really must play it like that second line support, which is exactly what Joe here is doing. And, you know, the tortoise here is penning him left, right and centre, as you can see. I mean, the tortoise is not having a problem, lifting on next to no hit points. And this is... This, this, this is important stuff, guys. And when you watch replays like this, it gets to give you a better understanding of understanding the tank that you are in. You've got to understand its armour. You've got to understand all the nuances of the tank. And this one, as I said, it's got a great gun, long reload, a f massive aim time. I mean, one second of aim time is absolutely crazy. I mean, you just point and shoot this thing. Look at this reticle, it just comes straight down. Boom, look at that, I mean, it's brilliant. But it's got rubbish armor and not great ability. So you do have to play it like this. 
and it's there to punish the enemy. It's not there to be aggressive with them as such, rolling in and saying, come, let's have a fight. This is there just sitting behind in a good position, not camping as such, and really punishing that enemy. Now, the other thing was, I was you know, if you don't believe what I'm saying here, I was watching a stream um, of Pantofles last night, and he was rolling out in the SU 122 44 on Vineyards. And he said, I shouldn't be in this position, um, in this tank, it's not my role. So you've got to understand the roles that your tanks play, you've got to understand your tanks. And I'm telling you now, this tank is fantastic, but it is tricky. And I love it, I think it's a great tank. And I'm, I'm sure not Banana Joe loves it. He said in my Discord that his hands were shaking. And I'm not surprised. He's at 4,938 damage already. Okay, he gets a little bit lucky here with the AFK. But forget the AFK. Okay, he's going to farm about 2,000 damage here. But that's not the point. He did the roll perfectly up until this point. I mean, he's just got lucky here. And this is a Hall of Famer. It's uh, number two in the Hall of Fame, and it deserves to be. I mean, this is a great game. Anyway, I have been Fuji. That has been Not Banana Joe of the clan Yugo, rolling out in the T34-3, a tank I recently did a video on, getting a WoW Deserve Mastery and a shed load of other medals, as you can see there, including the fabled Raz medal for his seven kills. I mean, it's spectacular. And it thoroughly deserves a top spot in the Hall of Fame. It's number two, just behind Circo 401 of the Clan 7 KPD. But boy, this really does deserve to be in that Hall of Fame. Anyway, if you've got any comments, please put them down below. Don't forget to like, guys. And if you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. Beautiful thing to do. Got any decent replays? Wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com or post them to my Discord server. Big thank you to all my subscribers for getting me past the 3000k mark and a massive thank you to my Patreons who, without their support, videos like this would be a lot harder. And until the next time, guys, well done, Banana Joe, for getting into the Hall of Fame with that one. And congrats on your Raz. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about, guys. Having fun and being happy.